what do you want to be when you grow up a doctor an astronaut an author the list goes on and on but not everyone is given the choice children who grew up with a one way ticket to being either a farmer or a fisherman in some rural village here in sri lanka were forced into their career paths with no say in the matter but someone who does get to choose is me it's you and it's all of our generation we have a chance to make their lives easier with my growing passion for the culinary arts and entrepreneurship i want to create a platform for underrated farmers and fishermen to share their organic and healthy produce with a wider range of customers i'd also like to use my dream of one day opening my own restaurant or cafe to help bring recognition to farmers too perhaps featuring these incredible cupcakes i made using organic beetroot we found off a tiny stall in norelia The planet as we know it is not getting any better. Climate change and global warming rule our lives, while the COVID pandemic may impact our futures in this rapidly digitalizing world. We need to find careers that cater to our passions as well as the environment. This is why with my dream of becoming a designer, I have come up with a way to live my dream while also giving hidden talent a chance to shine and also help save our one home. Understated villages here in Sri Lanka where fishermen and farmers labor are often shrouded by retail stores that sell huge quantities of poison produce. Aside from the fact that their careers are unfair and barely profitable, it doesn't help that the only ones who seem interested in their harvest are flies. As for the fashion and clothing industry, which was climbing steadily pre-pandemic, it's now back at square one. Learning to adapt to COVID is the new norm. When the second wave of the COVID pandemic hit Sri Lanka, street vendors who were still selling their goods despite being encouraged to head home before curfew admitted they were only still out there because they couldn't afford to let the last of their goods go to waste. If they had just been able to reach the customers who were yearning to stock up on organic produce, their stocks would have disappeared in no time. This is why I want to implement a virtual platform, a delivery service say, where we help poor vendors from the most rural villages sell their produce on a website that customers would buy from to have delivered to their doorstep. I want to have my own design stitched by talented individuals, tailors and seamstresses who aren't given enough recognition for their skill so that they can incorporate their own flair and personality into my designs. I'd also like to help stop material waste in the industry. by using the leftover scraps of each product made so that it can be used in new products so that everything is used to its optimum capacity to add to that evolving technology gives way to the creation of new material that don't contain any plastic or animal skin that i'd like to use in my design Exactly. 5 years from now, pandemic or not, the one certainty we can rely on is the evolution and advancement of technology. As we speak, safe methods of food preservation like dry ice technology are being developed to encourage non-toxic retention of freshness in perishable foods, which would come in extremely useful when it comes to transporting goods to customers all over the country. Whether it's the art of creating a unique dress or the effort that goes to putting good food on your table, our collective goal is to bring hidden talent and hard work into their well-deserved limelight. This is the change we want to bring through our careers, and we are on our way to making it.